Hey everybody, back again for some more spring pruning. Um, this is at my house and here is a uh, Amber Choke Cherry that uh, I'm going to start doing some pruning on because now it is established and it really put off some good growth last year. So what we want to look at on trees, you know, fruit trees or, or small ornamental type trees like this that don't, aren't going to get huge. Um, essentially what we're going to look at is some of the spacing with the lower limbs here, obviously those two are close together, and then any other types of crossing branches or anything else inside of there. Um, and because we're not really looking for overall structure, this tree is only going to get 30 to 40 foot tall in the next 20 years. So I just want to make sure that I plan for, you know, over where I'm standing here, the driveway, it's, you know, vehicles and stuff. So I'm going to make sure I, I get any of this stuff that's going to come this way. And, uh, so I'll set the phone down and do some pruning okay. and come back. That's all I took off. I think four or five different cuts with the uh, small pruning saw and the hand pruners. You can see I just took off a few of those lower branches and there were a couple of crossing branches and a few uh, spots where we might have some structure in the future. This tree should be good to go now for well, at least another couple of years, but I'll keep an eye on it. Another thing you often hear is with, you know, with young trees, you don't want to prune too much because you want to let them establish. And, and while that's true, uh, you got to pay attention to them because a couple of uh, trees, you know, a few species after one or two years will establish and grow really fast. This black locust, for example, I put in the ground bare root. It only had two summers of bare root growth. And now here it's uh, starting to push 20 foot tall. And last year put two and a half foot of growth on. So it's established. So what I did as I come in and I'm going to start to figure out where's my lowest permanent branch going to be. And obviously I don't want that way down here. And I don't even want it here when it's this close to the driveway and going to be in my yard. Eventually, my major permanent, lowest permanent branch is probably going to be that one. So over the next, oh, five, six, seven years, all of these lower ones will eventually be off. So as you can see, I made a pile, took a few off there and uh, now we'll leave the tree for maybe a year or two. I even kind of cut off a little bit on these, on these next ones up to start and push some of that energy up a little bit higher. And the same thing with this young elm tree that I've got. You can see last year, all that's new growth, three, three and a half foot worth. So I started taking off some of the lower whorls to get that tree to grow up and also to help the tree develop a better taper and ultimately the goal is when we're doing this while the tree is young now the wound size is the size of my finger versus if i would have waited a few years that wound might have gotten larger to the size of a couple of inches it just it takes the tree a lot longer to close and compartmentalize those wounds versus if you do it young when they're young and small like this so the young trees the new trees they take a lot of work at first but after about 10 years they won't really need much of anything at all so Stay tuned.